quarantine. Day 14. Mrs. Street hasn't been able to leave her house to go to burn boot camp. But that hasn't stopped her. She's been able to work out every single day. Let's do this. After a workout, it's important to get the right nutrients. I always make three cups of a protein shake because I know my two daughters will want to split it equally with me. How many pints will each person get? Remember, two cups equal one pint. What up my quarantine math people? Back at it again. Let's dive right in with our sides check. Um, if you are an avid quarantine math watcher or instructor beat subscriber, you know we love our side check word problem strategy here. Let's start with our statement, which is each person will get blank pints, right? Each person will get blank pints, all right? And so I know I'm looking for anything about people or anything about pints or other capacity measurements. So what I'm going to be identifying is... Uh, they, she makes three cups, okay, and there are three people, yes, three people splitting it, right, evenly, and that's important because if I'm splitting something evenly, I am, I know that I am dividing, okay, because division is putting a number into equal groups um, or into how many are in each group, but I'm splitting evenly, okay, um, and then the three cups are important because cups and pints are both capacity and then also at the end it told us something very very important that remember she said remember two cups equals one pint so i know this is a conversion problem but i also might have to do something else let's go back and revisit the three people because some of you might have just divided by two which would be incorrect because it said her two daughters and her right so that's gonna make three people um, so the way I teach this is I know that this is division because I found the keyword splitting evenly. So I'm not going to draw a tape diagram. I'm just going to go ahead and do a blank division equation. And I'm going to think to myself, what is my dividend? My dividend in a division problem is the number that's being shared, split up, separated equally. Or it could be cut up or poured, again, equally though. So it's the number that's going to be divided, right? And whatever synonym for divided they want to use. So for this, they said split evenly. Now, what is being split evenly? It's not three people, right? We're not murderers here at Quarantine Math, all right? I know it's quarantine, but we're, you know, we're not going that far, all right? We're not, um, I don't know if I, never mind. Um, sometimes I have to stop myself before I get in trouble because I don't have a filter sometimes. But as I age, I'm getting better, right? So we're not going to split up three people and put them into cups, okay? Because... That's gonna be a long jail sentence, all right? The police will pick you up even during quarantine. So what was being split up was the three cups, okay? So I know that um, I at first have cups, all right? And what is that, be? Well, let me go ahead and write that down. And that's being split by three people. So we know, and if you don't know, please go ahead and listen to our uh, What is Division song. I will link that um, link in the description for this video because it, talks about what a dividend divisor and quotient is and how the divisor and quotient always work together. If this is my, oops, sorry, that shouldn't, this should be three up here, sorry. If this is people, that's my groups, then the quotient will tell me how many each group got or each person, okay? If this was each group, then the quotient would be groups. If you're confused, go ahead and check out that song. It's super helpful. We also have some lessons on a playlist you can listen to. Um, but if this is my answer right here, so this should match up with my statement. My statement said each person will get blank pints. This is talking about how much each person's going to get. That's great. But I also had to do something first because this is a conversion problem. So let me make my have and wanted chart. I had three cups. Okay. And I don't want to divide cups. I want to divide pints because that's what my answer is asking me for. Not pints. Okay. Pints. And so the way I teach this, I'm going from a smaller unit to a large unit, which means I'm taking my saddle and the letter in the middle of saddle is division. So I'm dividing three divided by two, which is simply going to be an improper fraction. 
Some of you could have put one and one half. That's awesome, but we're going to have to go ahead and change it to improper fraction later anyway. So now I don't have blank cups. I have three halves pints or one and one half. If you put that, that's acceptable because that's equivalent mixed number. And I want to divide that by three. All right. So let's go to the next page and I'm going to show you how to do this two different ways. Okay. The first one being the shortcut, the second one, or sorry, the first one being the tape diagram and the array model and the second one being the keep change flip. So if I have three halves, let me go ahead and kind of draw this out. Okay. So I have, here we go. Um, so that's going to be one hole and then I'm going to have another hole right here. Okay. I don't have this one. Okay. So if I have three halves and I want to split that equally, right? So this, that means I have three pieces. So that's going to be one person, one person, one person. So how much did each person get? Well, each person got one half, right? Because each, oh sorry, that should be the second person and third person. So each person got one half. If I want to do the shortcut, I can turn everything into a fraction and do keep, keep change flip. Uh, if you don't know how to do keep change flip, I will link the video or the song that we have for this, an awesome song, into the description for this video. And so we're going to keep the first fraction exactly the same, see the division sign and change its name, flip the uh, last fraction on top of itself, call the reciprocal, and then you just multiply across, right? So three times one is going to be three, two times three is six, and then you can simplify that. Check out our simplifying song if you need help. Two, one half. Okay, so I'm going to get the same answer either way. So if I had three halves of a uh, three halves pints and I want to split that between three people, each person is going to get one half of a pint. All right. And I know Miss Street after she makes or before and after she makes her protein shakes and works out is going to wash her hands. She's not going to touch her face. If she's feeling sick, she's going to stay inside. And as always, stay safe, do math, we're out.